Hello to all my friends out there. So I finally got home after walking two hours a day. And uh, now I want to make a little meal for myself. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to spend much money. Forget it. What I really, really want to do is eat all the food in my uh, refrigerator and in the half-eaten packages before buying more. So, uh, I guess it was yesterday. This is some kind of tea I made. I'll try to figure out what kind. Yummy peppermint tea and no caffeine. So, I want to drink it all up. I have some tea, some chamomile tea. I try to drink that at night and use up all my sugar. And I want to uh, conserve as much of my money as I can. All right, let me show you guys something. Here is my garden. It's coming along nicely. I want to encourage you guys just Get the kids to do it. If, if my son was a little boy, I'd definitely have him doing the garden. You know, I don't like getting my hands dirty at all. Oh, I want to show you something. Okay, so yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I bought these two boxes of cereal, marked down 50 cents each. Why do that? Because that's going to ca cause your uh, food to be really, really cheap. One's for my son. One is for me, and then uh, I bought this markdown yesterday. This is a nice can of soup, 119, and it has a little dent. Where is it? Well, maybe this was just marked down, but the expiration date. So what you have to do to find this markdown food is you have to go places. You have to go back to the places where you get the, successfully get the food marked down. And you have to check it out. You saw my marked down chicken. That was dirt cheap. I had one piece of turkey burger. And uh, that's not very much. So I roasted one hot dog that I got at um, Aldi's. Where is my hot dogs? Uh, one day I was doing uh, shopping. You know, I went to Aldi's and I shopped around. And I bought stuff for $10, and the hot dogs were one of the things. So, I want to make a little sandwich for myself. A cheap little sandwich. I just want a little lunch, and I want to eat all my food up. And I don't want to spend much money. Also, I have this half a beverage left and I will drink it. It's, my refrigerator is really cool. As soon as it thaws out, I will drink it. Uh, it's good to teach the kids to get into the habit of eating all the leftovers. So today I bought this bread and let me tell you, it smells good. Let's see, it's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And so I want to make some tasty sandwiches, but I want to eat all my uh, food up. So I'm not going to be suffering one little bit eating all my cheap food up in my refrigerator. So the hot dogs were really cheap from uh, Aldi's. And the lunch meat was from Dollar Tree. Once you start getting the hang of this, you're never going to run out of food again. You're never going to, you know, be hungry again because you're going to be eating all your leftovers up. Oh. 
So if you guys saw the chat on the aliens, you might be thinking, what's with the aliens? Well, what we're really uh, doing is we're really, really examining the alien agenda. Okay, the alien agenda could be uh, man-made. It could be alien-made. We don't know 100%. Uh, in my experience in life, though, uh, mostly everything is, most the evil doing is the two-legged type. So, uh, you know, basically we're going to be warned ahead of time what the alien agenda is. And so we examine some of that. And so I'm continuing on with the, the chat is going to be insectoids, sectoids. Okay, in the end of times, we're supposed to have disasters involving blood. And so what we see is we see, I have some cheese left. Where's my package? Things involving blood. Uh, you know, we have some blood sacrifices. Uh, blood shed by war. Anyway, things things involving blood. Pestilence involving frogs. So these are the things that all through time have come down. And, you know, um, a lot of people think there's nothing new under the sun. I'm one of them. If somebody tells me, oh, this is something new, never before, uh, I would take a, I would say, well, let me think about that. Uh, wild animals. They, they can always be dangerous if they go out of control. Uh, flies. Flies are nasty, and also don't forget that would be um, Lord of the Flies. Do these flies have to be fly flies? No, they could be. They could be uh, mechanized flies. It could be bad if they started going out of control, attacking people. Disasters concerning flies. Pestilence of livestock. We had a lot of uh, our livestock and hogs killed in this flood, and, and that flood is not over. Uh, I want to encourage you guys to watch Mike Morales, a zombie farmer, and um, Richie from Boston. Just subscribe to them, and if something comes up that looks interesting, watch it. If not, don't watch it. Boils. Boils are really bad. Those can also happen on animals. Ooh, yummy. All right, now, let's see. How can I get this? This is going to be much better than going out. And it's cheaper, way cheaper. I bought the um, tomatoes at 99 cent only. I'll probably eat this guy later. Thunderstorms of hail and fire. And if you watch my earlier video, now we have Army uh, was rendered blind by lumens of light. So why even think about this stuff? Well, if you know things exist or are likely to come about, you can defend yourself. If you want to hide your head in the sand, and then when it comes, uh, you won't be as well prepared. So you want to say, okay, if, if we're attacked by light, what can we do? Well, we can uh, repel the light with solar shields. Oh, no, I got three sandwiches. We want 
to be prepared for floods. We want to be prepared for heat. And we want to be prepared for cold. And we want to be prepared for uh, power outages. Today I tried to go to uh, Food for Less and the power was out. These are good. So what this really is, is a little marked down, this food is marked down. It would have been fine if it was just this. This is a good little sandwich. I bought the hot dogs marked down cheap at uh, Aldi's. Okay, locusts and lice. This is going to figure in with the um, insectoid video that I'm doing next. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a, a look at that and say, could this kind of thing plague us, to disturb us, to kill us, possibly? Um, also, um, I am very interested in giants as well. A lot of people think giants don't exist. I think they exist. Okay, now. So, things we want to uh, prepare for famine. Okay, if there's a famine... If it goes like it has all through history, it would be wheat, barley, wine, and oil. And it just so happened that the area, um, the area that produces the wheat and the barley is the Mideast and Nebraska, and the area that has been pounded by rain in Northern California produces a lot of the grapes, of course. Uh, another thing is this kind of stuff. See, this this is pig fat. This could go up. So, I would suggest wheat, barley, wine or grapes, and oil for sure. Because all through time, that has gone, you know, into a famine. Blood. Uh, the problem with blood, there can be a lot of disease in the blood. You don't really want to be consuming blood. You want to cook your meat right now. Uh, well done. Frogs, lice, wild animals, or flies, pestilence of livestock, boil, thunderstorms of hail, and fire, locust likes, and the alien agenda. Okay, and then you want to prepare for um, attacks of um, electromagnetic pulse. And I would say, I think this would be going, here's, see the direction, and another thing is solar shields. I would stock up on solar shields. Okay, now, okay, my sandwich looks good. I will taste it. Maybe it tastes horrible. If it tastes horrible, I'll tell you, it's the worst sandwich I ever made. I don't think so. This is a good looking sandwich. Another thing is, quit being so picky about what you eat. Sandwiches always go on the bottom, you guys. Okay, so, I dumpster dive one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages of cookies. 
first of all, you know I eat cookies every single day, and I already gave four four packages of cookies. If you watch the the um, the cookie dumpster dive video, the flute in the background was a street guy, and I gave him some cookies. And then there was a camp out, and I left two for uh, them, and I think I saw him walk over and take the cookies. Makes no difference to me who gets the cookies. And so what I'm doing is I'm going through my half-eaten packages, and I'm creating uh, food for uh, giving away, like to homeless people. Okay, and then today I was at Dollar Tree and I bought these cookies. I really love these. So, okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty much stocked, stocked up on cookies. So you might be going, well, well, the street people, you're going to give them uh, uh, expired cookies. Well, if you make two sandwiches and maybe some kind of fruit and some cookies... That's going to be a lot better meal. And they come in these little packages. Let me try. I will try some of these cookies, and I will tell you if they're stale. And you know what? If they're stale, I'll eat them anyway. I don't care. Remember, I'm being less picky about what I eat and being grateful to God that I have food. I'm grateful to God that I have a roof over my head as well. Not only that, cookies are very tasty with teeth. Those will do. They're a little bit stale, I have to say. But when you eat them with tea, anything tastes good. So, um, you go, well, well, why should you even bother do that? Well, let's say uh, three times a week, uh, you gave somebody a lunch or let's say once a day you gave somebody a lunch in a year, that would be 350 to 365 lunches you gave away and you wouldn't be suffering much yourself. Now when I make my lunches, I can afford to make the lunches out of this um, bread. I eat it myself. Uh, so you would give if it was the other way, it'd still be a hundred lunches. I mean, once a week. And one of the comments was, so you want to prepare daily. You want to say, okay, maybe I can do something for someone less fortunate than myself. And you want to prepare your stockpile daily. Uh, oh, and I wanted to mention, okay, did you, you guys saw the video of accept all freebies? This is another thing that's super interesting. Okay, you know the Steve Madden backpack purse? That is a nice purse. Whoever dumped it had absolutely, you know, doesn't take care of their stuff. One thing you can do that'll really prolong the life of your um, purse is put a washcloth in the bottom of your purse so things don't spill on it. So the purse is still in pretty good shape. So all I'll do is I'll just take my sanitizing wipes and I'll wipe down the inside of the purse. I'll turn it inside out and I'll throw it in the dryer with one uh, dry cleaning bag. You know, the way you uh, take care of your stuff has a lot to do with your money too because I carry my purses for two, three years and I can still sell them. So, uh, you know, uh, I watch this lady, you know, who's growing her um, wardrobe. She carefully washes all of her clothes by hand. Okay, and Pamela made a very, very good, good, good comment. And she says she carries a pocket knife with her at all times. I think that is a really good idea. If someone attacks you, at least you have a little protection. So the comments were really good. Oh, and I really liked the comments on the chat, too. Those were some great comments. And I really wasn't nervous because it was like all my followers. And I was really kind of shocked that I had anybody. I told my son I didn't expect one single uh, follower. So if you saw the um, alien video, 
Approach the alien video as the alien agenda. What's going on here? Is this real? Is this fake? Remember um, War of the Worlds? I think some people freaked out and actually committed suicide. I heard they were using technology to tell the other side, you know, the armies, this is Allah, throw down your weapons. And then when I do the, the insectoid uh, video, same thing, Insecta, insectoid uh, agenda. Because we're, we're uh, promised pestilence of insects in the end of times, locusts and lice. Also, uh, locusts could be like mantis. So, okay, you guys, God bless you all.